the big story. Everybody was ca captivated by this idea of we're seeing Pluto. Joining us right now, uh, Kelsey Singer. She's a planetary scientist on the New Horizons team. She's there on <laughs> Skype. Hi, Kelsey. Hi. Hi. Oh, has the some of the buzz worn off? Or are you still high as a kite? To be honest, it's still pretty exciting. I mean, it's it's ebbing a little bit, um, but we're gonna keep getting pictures back uh, because it takes a long time to send all of the data back. So um, we keep getting excited. Oh, so about you're gonna get more pictures, incredible e things. even though New yep, Horizons yep. has gone off now into the uh, somewhere. That's correct. <laughs> after the Kuiper Belt, uh, you're still getting pictures back. We've probably got like one fiftieth of the pictures oh. that we're going to get. So we have a whole bunch more coming back. Everybody, though, has seen that giant image of Pluto with a, mm -hmm. what looked like almost like a heart-shaped formation down there yep. in the bottom. And you feel like, what a lonely, cold planet right on the edge of our own solar system. Mm -hmm. Non-planet. Well, yeah, or whatever <laughs> it is. Planet. I like to call Dwarf planet. The dwarf planet is planet. still a planet. Little baby planet. <laughs> uh, it was just so exciting to see that. What have, we, what have we learned so far? I mean, can you look at, as a geologist, a picture like that and get something? Actually, yes. So um, we, first of all, are extremely surprised. Um, we, well, we thought Pluto was going to be cool, um, but it has blown away our expectations because it has a really large diversity of different features. So those um, mountains that you happen to be flying over now, um, we are still struggling to figure out how they formed um, because they're quite high. And um, it's a unique feature to Pluto. We don't see mountains that look like that anywhere else. Um, and then there's also this plain, big white plane that you're seeing here. Um, and it's got these funky polygon features. You can see these little pits um, that are in this image as well towards the lower part of the image. Uh, and we just really had no idea what Pluto was going to look like. And we see all these extremely strange features that we don't see elsewhere. So it's going to help us learn about how these processes occur. One of the things uh, it struck me is unlike the moon, I don't see craters all over it. Why not? You are correct. No, that's a very good observation. So um, that is because this is an extremely young surface. So there are craters on Pluto, um, but there's also large regions where there are no craters, and that's because it's been resurfaced by all this active geology. Um, and so that's what makes it so interesting. So is it younger than we previously thought? So we, we thought that there would be some young terrains, but there's been more activity than we thought there would be. Um, and so it is a surprise. It's a fun surprise. Tell us a little bit about the New Horizons spacecraft. Like, how big is it? I know no one was on it, obviously, but uh, <laughs> right. what, is, what did it look like? What? Yeah, so um, there, it's, it's uh, about the size of a baby grand piano. Oh. Um, it's actually small for a spacecraft. Yeah. And that's part of the reason they were able to get to Pluto as fast as they were. Believe it or not, nine and a half years is actually fast to get to Pluto. Um, and so they launched a very small spacecraft on a very big rocket. And that is how they were able to get there so fast. Um, and they did only one gravity assist, and that was at Jupiter. So they slingshot around Jupiter to get a little farther right. out. Yep, so that actually shaved three years off the flight. Mm. Wow. from that gravity Where's assist. New Horizons going next? Because she's not done. Correct. So, yeah, so it was a plan to go to Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, which Pluto is part of. And so we now consider this kind of the third zone of our solar system. So everyone knows about the terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. And then there's the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And now we consider the Kuiper Belt to be the third zone of the solar system, which is now the real outer solar system. Wow, wow. And so we're gonna go to one other object, hopefully, as long as NASA approves an extended mission. So in my home, that I have three children, there's been a lot of excitement about really? Pluto, looking That's at these great. pictures, That's getting great. it. I mean, you know, they've all been interested in science, interested in what SpaceX is doing. Uh, have you noticed that there's a lot uh, of more interest of like people emailing you or contacting you, younger people getting more interested in space because of these pictures? Absolutely. And of course, that's one of our hopes and goals for doing space exploration is that people will get interested in it and get interested in careers and technology. It may not end up being space science, um, but it's that's one thing that makes me very happy to see. So neat. What's your background, Kelsey? Uh, my background is actually both in astronomy and geology um, and geophysics, and planetary is kind of right in the middle of those two. Yeah. So it's a good background for working on a, a planetary science mission. What an exciting job you have. 
I, I have to admit, it's been a good good week at work. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Kelsey, thank you so much for taking some time to share your enthusiasm, what we've learned about Pluto. I'm sure there's, if you said we've only seen a tiny fraction of what you're going to get. That's correct. There's a lot yep. more to learn and I'm sure a lot oh, more yes. to look at. That's great. More, more edges coming out and it's been my pleasure to talk to you. I hope you thank guys you. keep to keep following along with the Pluto fun. Kelsey Singer, she's a planetary scientist on the New Horizons team. Thanks for talking to us, Kelsey. Bye. Safe travels out there in the Kuiper Belt. <laughs>